you know that your 13 year old daughter was going to shut down a fracking rig today? <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, it crossed my mind. We're across from Silver Creek Elementary. Both of my daughters have attended Silver Creek over the years, and we're here now trying to counteract the oil and gas fracking activities that are really starting to encroach on all our neighborhoods in this area. I think they need to start looking how this is going to affect the economy. People are not gonna to wanna to come here to visit. The air quality is an F already, and nobody's gonna to wanna to move here. There's also the issue with it bringing down housing values, and a lot of people in this community are working class people, and our only wealth is in our homes. Muchos de nuestros líderes uh, en el estado de Colorado están apoyando a las compañías grandes y no nos están representando a nosotros como comunidades de color y comunidades que les afectan. Colorado, because it's got a big environmental consciousness and a big oil and gas industry, is you know one of the places where this fight is so intense. It's a complicated issue. I, I want people to have jobs, but not at the risk of our health and safety. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to be like this. Keep that going. It doesn't have to be like this. We've been distributing sunflower seeds on the ground. Sunflowers are known to be a type of, uh, of plant that absorbs toxins out of the soil. And so that's part of what we're doing here too, is saying this is land that's been tainted and we're trying to reclaim it and clean it and get rid of uh, the things that we don't want to transition to a clean future.